Marcus. I uh, got a little time here this morning and and uh, worked up that old tune you was asking me about the other day, uh, barber shop rag. Uh, I looked at the video that. <laughs> Uh, me and uh, Larry uh, Johnson was playing a few years ago and I think we was playing two different tunes or mixing them together <laughs> I think we was playing a little bit of Little Rock Getaway and, <laughs> and a little bit of Barbershop Rag all mixed up together but but uh, uh, what I try to do on learning a tune is I get go to the simplest part and get the melody up here first and uh, you know make get it in its simplest form which and that old tune if we're going to follow the the way Chet and Jethro was doing it uh, would be in uh, C, and uh, and I don't know how right any of this is. This is just the way I play it, and you know, uh,
it's a whole bunch of stuff right there and uh, but uh, and you got to realize too when you you listen to the way those guys played that tune it's two parts a guitar part and a mandolin part you know so uh, <laughs> I'm trying to play them both at once you know what putting two notes together let's see let me clear my screen here if I can get around Just a little, you know, what do you call it? A walk up. That's a D. This would be Jethro on the mandolin way up high. Chet came down here following that, walking up just like we walked up here. Let's see, uh, 
That's high would be that chord there, oh, an A. shake. Uh, uh, actually, I think that's the second time through. The first time, I think it's... through it's on the first and second string and you wind up here is uh If you listen to that record, I think it's in 49, 48, 49, somewhere in there. You know, it sounds like to me, and I don't know if this is right, I have no way of knowing, but just to my ear, it sounds like Chet puts a capo on about halfway through the song, and that would put it right here up at the fifth fret and you know you, 
have some, uh, that would be like a, you'd be playing an open G shape if you capoed it to fifth fret, you know, to be in C. That would be a bar chord C. that sound there. You mix that with the mandolin and the rhythm guitar. something interesting you could try out and play around with a little bit you know if you if you really <laughs> dig deep into what's going on and that's kind of an interesting thing there that I'm just too lazy to use a capo and I just you know figure out something on my own without having to to do this because I don't have anyone to play with, so you know, it's uh, works out a little better for me if I can come up with a way to play it that's coherent, you know, and has a bass line in it and sounds about right or pretty close. And so that's what I've done with this old song and. Uh, uh, you don't hear many people playing that tune, or I haven't anyway, and but it'd be real nice if you had a mandolin player and a rhythm player and really work it up right, you know, uh, it's a good old tune, well, have fun. <laughs>